Today marks one year since the devastating terror attack on Israel by Hamas. More than 1,200 Israeli Israelis were killed and 250 hostages were taken, about 100 of whom still have not been returned. That led to the escalation of the war in Gaza, where more than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed. It's a difficult day for the Jewish community. Joining us now is Rabbi Joseph Black, senior rabbi at Temple Emmanuel. Uh, first of all, just thank you for taking the time to be here. And we just want to check in with your congregation. Sure. How is everyone doing? You know, um, people say that every day since the last 365 days has been September 8th. We've been sort of on hold, we've been waiting, we've been worrying, we have been crying, we have been grieving, we have been trying to figure out how to make sense of the horror and the tragedy on all sides of this issue. So we're okay, I guess. This is also a holy time in the Jewish community between Rosh Hashanah right. and Yom Kippur. So this is a very sacred time for our community as well, a time of deep contemplation, a time of of just trying to figure out how do we make sense of all the changes that have occurred this past year. And how can, uh, the, how can non-Jewish people help Jewish people during this difficult time? Well, I think the, the most important thing is just sort of check in. How are you doing? You know, it's funny, I've, I received two emails today. Uh, one from uh, a dear friend who is the head of an interfaith alliance here in Denver, and the other from Imam Mohammed Khalila, who's the mosque of the Denver of the Denver downtown Denver Mosque, and Iman Khalil and I have been friends and we've been working. But there's a lot of other uh, Christian partners um, with whom we've worked we haven't heard from, and uh, that's disconcerting, I have to say, just right. to check in and see how you're doing. Um, does today feel any different than the last 365, right, that you've been dealing with this with amongst your own community and individually as yeah. well? It, it does, uh, in a sense, because the fact that it's been a year, a year of terror, a year of deep concern. Uh, there's a big commemoration that, that we are doing tonight with the whole Jewish community, uh, as well as other communities around the world as well. So yes, it does feel different, but it's just one more day. You know, I think of the families of the hostages and what they've had to deal with as they wait to hear any news of their loved ones, whether they're dead or alive, or those who were murdered on that day. Or, or the families, frankly, of the Palestinians who have been caught in the crossfire, who, uh, because of the, cru the brutality of Hamas and Hezbollah themselves, have been, have been a hor their lives have been horribly uprooted. And uh, you, know, you can't not feel that kind of, of pain for them as well. I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up. My husband, who's Israeli, and his mm -hmm. family lives in Israel, you know, they will say, those are my cousins, sure. the Palestinian people. Absolutely. So you being a rabbi, a lot of people look to you as a healer. Um, what advice could you give people in order to have security and peace in that region? <laughs> I know it's complicated, but if you could put it out there. Well, I think the most important thing is to understand the humanity of everyone who's caught up in this, that um, people who are caught up in, in you know, th th this is not about only Ak October 7th, although certainly that's a big piece of it, but this has been going on for a long time and the hatred and the violence um, that has been on both sides of this issue is something that we have to understand is not normal, uh, but it's become de rigueur. And so um, I, I think you have to try and see the fact that every human being is holy and every human being is created in the image of God, even those who say that I am not because of who I am or what I stand for or what I believe. And I think you have to try and not allow yourself to be consumed by anger and hatred and worry and fear. Powerful words. I know, such a sobering day. And yeah. I mean, to think that you, yeah. you just want continued healing yeah. for everybody involved. I mean, that's just such a heavy thing it is. to feel every day. Thank you for taking okay. the time for us My today. Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Black.